So today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the locking mechanism that we have in the uh, PEGA. And uh, once that is done, so in the locking, uh, so we'll be working on uh, two things practically, okay? So quotating uh, the locking mechanism. So in Pella, we have uh, two types of uh, lockings available. So one is uh, pessimistic locking, or we call it uh, the default lock locking. One second. Okay, so we have uh, pessimistic locking. And another is optimistic locking. So this pessimistic locking is also called as uh, the default locking or the yeah, default lock. Okay. So for example, it is similar to the checkout and check-in option, right? So when you open a case in Pega, so it acquires a lock internally, okay? So with the operator ID, there will be an entry. So when someone is trying to open that, uh, they will be notified with the message saying that it is already being modified by another operator. So that means this, Pessimistic locking provides an exclusive access to the work object. Okay, so let's see that practically. So we have multiple operator sites. Right? So this is admin at the rate of USB. Let's log in with different operator ID. It is very important for interviews also. What is the uh, another operator we have? USB developer one, right? So let's see. Yeah, dev one at USB. Yeah, dev one at USB. Yeah. So dev one at the rate USB. And this is the different operator. So this one is disabled. See why? Because so I have uh, taken this code from different mission. And when the operators also will be, you know, included, but it will be when you move it to the different environment or different mission, the operator ID will be disabled. See here. So this is the disabled. And also it will ask you to change the password for the first time. So this has to be enabled. Okay. So you need to enable this one. Unselect this checkbox. And update the password. I'm putting install because anyways I have to change it. It is installed. Right? Now it will ask us to change because we are logging for the first time. So I'm putting the password rules.
so observe here so i'm going to uh, create a work object let's say customer inquiry or anything you can take let's say auto loan home loan okay let's take the auto loan only because optimistic locking also we will verify in the auto loan so the moment the case is created so when the case is created so it will be stored in the database right so if the case is created means this record will be there in the database network but not with the data but at least will will be there with the basic data like you know PYID, px create date time update date time all the out of the box properties will be there in the corresponding database table okay so that means like i open this case and i am working on this right so internally there will be a lock on this instance okay so when some other operator is trying to open this ada 6005 let's see what will happen So let's go to the incognito. This is kind of different browser. And so I'm going to open the same work object, ADA 6005. What is happening? So this object is currently being modified by Satya. This is the other operator name. Okay. So now when this operator can work on this case, when the lock is released from this instance, let's say if I close it, the lock will be released. So if this operator is trying to open it, it will open because the lock will be released. So now if this operator is working on this case, I cannot work on now. It is vice versa, right? This is actually the full name of the operator. So it is being modified by another operator. So now what will happen in the back end is so when when the user is working on the case, it acquires a lock internally. So there is a lock table called PRCSQ, PRCS locks. Okay. So we can also see that here. So system iPhone lock. System iPhone locks is a class, and the corresponding table is PRCS locks. Okay. So when you click on this, so it will show all the lock instances. So click here for the system lock view. And we'll see one instance. So there is a count one, right? So if you open this, L does that is the object ID. Okay, so handle is like the PJ dynasty of the work object. And the owner is like, this is the request ID basically. Okay, uh, operator name is this one. So there is a lock. There is one instance here means there is a lock on this work object. And acquired by this developer one. Okay, so now if this operator close the item, and again click on this no matching data was found that means there are no locked items okay so when someone is working on the case there will be a entry in the lock table and so when other operator trying to open it it will check whether we have a lock on that instance if it is there it will show the message saying that it is being modified by another operator otherwise 
it will allow that user to work on the case clear yeah so this is called pessimistic locking it is very important for interviews so what are the various locking uh, types we have in the pega and explain about them okay so simply the pessimistic locking or default locking provides an exclusive access to the case okay internally when a user open a case it acquires a lock in the uh, you know and that lock entry will be available in the prs locks and when someone is trying to open that will be notified with the message okay so now coming to the optimistic locking so this doesn't provide an exclusive access to the case meaning when a operator opens a case at the same time another operator also can use it let's say there is a case c dash one and operator one open and operator two also can open it and let's say operator three also can open it parallelly. so operator one open the case let's say all of these operator opened a case when operator did some changes and submitted it the data will be saved into the the database when operator two or operator three is trying to monitor the data and submit it so that time they will be notified with the message saying that this instance is already saved into the database please repress this object to update the changes like that okay so when we go for this optimistic locking is when the users are working on a case at the same time let's say manager want to review it they don't want to update the case this they want to open it and see what are the latest updates so in that case we can have the optimistic locking because we need to allow the manager to open the case but ideally they don't update it so for just you know seeing the latest updates okay so this doesn't provide an exclusive access to the uh, you know case right because there are there mul multiple users can open the same case okay so if you want to see the optimistic locking behavior for the auto loan so go to the auto loan case type settings so click on locking what is the default option allow one user this is a pessimistic locking and allow multiple users this is a optimistic locking so for the default locking or the pessimistic locking the maximum you know uh, the default like you know the locking time would be 30 minutes that means if someone open a case and ideal for 30 minutes and uh, you know that lock gets expired it will be like soft lock meaning if someone is trying to access the work object it will be opened so lock gets released automatically okay the default time for the uh, default locking would be 30 minutes and that can be changed also but mostly it would be 30 minutes only we don't change it okay so now coming to the optimistic strategy so let me take this screenshot so by default it would be allow one user and it can be changed also
So now let's see same again. So let's say I will, I want to work on a case six double zero five. So at the same time, another operator want to view the work object. Let's say what will happen. Is it allowing? Yes, right. So both operators open the same case. So now let's see this admin at the rate of USB entered some data. and submitted it okay so now this operator doesn't know that this operator submitted it okay so this operator let's say entered some data and trying to submit it let's say this is the different operators and submitted it okay so now see what happened so this case was updated by satya on this date and refresh the screen to update the values and then proceed to work okay so since it's already committed to the database it will not allow the other user who is working on simultaneously okay so this operator must refresh this screen okay so if it refresh will be directly landed to the second screen because first screen is already submitted it so this is called optimistic locking so where multiple users can open the case simultaneously but it allows only one operator to submit the case to the database when other operator is trying to submit it will be notified with the error message so they must refresh the case in order to update it clear online guys yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. yeah yes. so for this we need to enable the uh, you know option we have in the case type tool allow multiple 